Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. We will look upon rules and safety measures in microbiological laboratory. It is very important to follow rules of microbiological laboratory in safety point of view. If these rules are not followed, a student, teacher or a laboratory worker can face biohazards, chemical hazards as well as physical hazards. So let's start with it. The safety rules are as follows. The first one is remove footwear outside the laboratory. Whenever a person enters a laboratory, he or she should remove the footwear outside the laboratory. The outside dirt as well as the dust, it should not enter the laboratory. If the dust enter the laboratory, obviously microorganisms will also enter the laboratory. Second. Laboratory gown or apron should be used compulsory. As we know, dyes and chemicals are used in laboratory due to which our skin can get harmed as well as it can damage our clothes. So, laboratory gowns and aprons should be used compulsory. The next one is instructions given in the laboratory should be noted and followed carefully. Further, Eating and drinking is not allowed in the laboratory. Next one is nothing should be put in the mouth. Many people have habits of putting things like pen, pencils or fingers in their mouth. This should be completely avoided as it can result in infection or contamination. Next hair should be covered with cap. Hair should be properly packed with the hair cap to avoid falling of hair on face, working places as well as Bunsen burner. Further, doors and windows should be kept closed during the experiment. So, whenever the experiment is carried out, the doors and windows should be kept closed. The air present outside the outside that laboratory should not enter the laboratory as well as the experiment going on it may contain microorganisms that microorganism should also not get exposed to the environment so this care should be taken further external material should be kept in the drawers or cabinets everyone carries external material like bags clothes purses books this all things should be kept at proper places like drawers and shelves. Further, working area should be kept free from all external material. As I told you, this all material should be kept on proper places. So, this material does not disturb your experimental work. Hands should be washed properly before and after each task. Next, the bench top should be disinfected before and after each laboratory work. Before you start any work or any experiment, the bench top should be disinfected by using a disinfectant like ethanol, phenol, lysol, etc. Further, these above precautions may lessen or it may avoid the chances of infection or contamination due to cultures next smoking is completely prohibited in microbial laboratory further microbial culture should be handled properly and should not be taken out of laboratory if the cultures are taken out of laboratory there are chances the microbial culture can get exposed to the environment and if these cultures are of disease causing organisms then it may be a risk for an environment further mouth pipetting should be avoided and mechanical pipetting device should be used maximum times people use mouth pipetting and this may risk the chemicals may enter in our mouth and it can be dangerous further avoid aerosol formation now in laboratory 
we when we carry out a work or when we are carrying an experiment we have to be careful that there is no aerosol formation so talking and laughing should be avoided because talking and laughing can result in formation of aerosols and can result in contamination so contaminated material should be placed in a proper container in each laboratory there is a container where all the contaminated materials are discarded so this contaminated material should not be left on your bench top it should be next culture plates tubes should be discarded in the basket once the work is over you no longer require this culture plates and tube you should immediately discard it all microbial culture should be either incubated or refrigerated it should be not kept in the cabinet or drawers you have to either incubate it or refrigerate it and if you no longer require it just discard it for the pipette glass rods should be properly disinfected or sterilized after each use sterilize nichrome wire loop nichrome wire loop should be compulsorily sterilized before each use and after each experiment you can sterilize it by passing it through bunsen burner or just expose it to alcohol further all laboratorical instruments should be operated as per standard operating procedures whenever a instrument is placed in the laboratory it has its standard operating procedures and you strictly have to follow it the bun handle bunsen burner with care bunsen burner should be handled with care as it is very dangerous it should be handled with care and it should be turned off when it is not in use further all electrical appliances should be immediately turned off after each use electrical appliances such as oven autoclave centrifuge and other devices they should be immediately turned off further alcohol should be kept away from the flames as we know alcohol it catches fire easily so it may result in many accidents so it should be kept away from the flame waste paper threads broken glasses or used ph strips should be discarded safely see all this paper they just after the use of all this thing they just create a mess or they just you know uh, interfere in your work if they are no longer required after the experiment it should be discarded the experiments that are permitted should only be carried out some experiments are very dangerous or we can say some experiments can cause harm to the fellow who is carrying out this experiment so they are banned or they are not allowed to carry out in the laboratory such experiments should not be carried out keep the laboratory clean the laboratory should be kept clean and so follow all the instructions above and you will be safe and get good results thank you for watching my video if you like my video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you